Hello! In today's video, we're going to be going over all the tiny little details of the anomaly. So, let's go! Get right to it. Okay, uh, the first one we're going to talk about is uh, this little one here. It's, uh, it looks unimportant, but it's actually the steering wheel of the anomaly. You can tell because it has like these little hand things, they all these little dials that have little finger knobs or buttons, you know, so you can control it and stuff. Also, whatever these are, which will put batteries, and these, which I'm guessing are books, right next to, uh, uh, you can also see them over here. Yeah, they're definitely books, you know, which is cool. Nice little detail. Okay, next, at each, uh, of the landing pads, or at least most of them, there are these little th things, these little boxes that seem to have a holographic display, or button, holographic buttons or whatever, and hoses, which I'm guessing, and someone else mentioned, oh they also have handles, oh that's cool, okay, so these are like gas pumps, you know, like fueling stations, just go in a camera mode so you can see it better. Yeah, look at it. See those little handles? And, you know, hoses and stuff. Pretty cool. They light up. Okay, next! Uh, right at the, uh, Quicksilver Synthesis Companion, uh, you see all the, uh, broken or unused, you know, smoking parts of other travelers. Uh, these could, uh, you know, be his, uh, spare parts, or parts of his fallen victims. It also tells you how close we are with the community, current community mission, so that's cool. Okay, next is uh, this little holographic display that's on here, and of course, on here, uh, which some people have been mentioning that is supposed to be marking where your ship is. Uh, I think it is. But I don't think it actively does that. I think it's just a it's just a picture, it's just a display. Because there's my ship uh, for right now. Because uh, you know I sold a ship, and that's there now. Uh, you can tell that this is in the middle, and judging by the layout, this it doesn't match up. So it's yeah, it's just a picture. Maybe one day we'll have it where it actively tells us, you know, chop chop no one's or hello games, chop chop. And another thing that was mentioned, this little fluid right here, it's supposed to change depending on which star system you are in, which I think is kind of cool. There's all these power cells over here. Let's see if there's any more stuff. Let's see if there's more stuff. Random jump cut. Okay, I think I found something. Uh, there's a diagnostic display on this main computer hub. It's cool. It shows off the uh, anomaly and, of course, all its diagnostics. Which is a neat little detail. Of course, more books. Where those canisters are. Where those squares are. You know, just nice little props that add you know, fluff and detail. Oh! Whatever this is. Because, uh, I, I don't. I, I don't. I. It's a. It's some kind of display. Like you see in a hospital showing off health problems. And I don't know what that is. That unless it's supposed to be rudimentary and basic, uh, yeah, I don't know what that is. I don't think it's supposed to be an anomaly or traveler. It's, uh, I mean, it is right next to this where you get to change your suit and your style, so I might be for that. Yeah, just nice little details. Oh, yeah, the spinning sign with the geck. There's also. It shows doors to rooms that you can't get into, which I'm guessing are their sleeping quarters. 
And it was that. Wires, hoses. Just that detail. Anyway, I think that's it. Yeah, I'm gonna go off right now. Bye.